Anichkov Bridge. I'm only 50 meters from the corner of Nevsky Prospect and the embankment of Fontanka River in St. Petersburg, Russia. I came here that to go to Narishkin and Shuvalov Palace that was constructed here in the middle of 19th century in the style of Renaissance. Now here is located the Faberge Museum, the museum where is located the largest collection of uh, Karl Faberge eggs. Let's get inside. In February 2022, the standard adult price 500 rubles without guides and 1000 rubles with guides. It's about 7 14 bucks. The idea of uh, the Faberge Museum was born yet in 2004 when Russian billionaire businessman Viktor Vexelberg purchased the largest collection of Faberge eggs uh, from the family of media mogul Malcolm Forbes, who died yet in 1994, records back in those days 100 million dollars. Uh, so since then he also created the foundation which is called Link of Times. The idea of the foundation was to uh, return the lost cultural and arts valuables of Russia to Russia, okay? And uh, in 2006-2007 they uh, came to this palace, Shuvalov and Narishkin Palace, and started the restoration, which is taking seven years and requires not only all its time, but a high professionalist, professionalism of the restorers. And uh, the museum opened its doors here in 2013. Coming inside of so-called blue living room of the palace, it's the heart of the museum. That's actually where it's all the collection of Federer X, the largest one in the world, is located. Between 1885 and 1917, possibly as many as 69 eggs were created, of which 57 survive today. 52 of them were created special for Russian imperial family, 46 of which survives made for two last Russian Tsars, Alexander III and Nicholas II as Easter gifts for their wives and mothers. The largest collection of Faberge eggs is located in this museum. 14 eggs in one place. 10 more eggs are in Kremlin Armory in Moscow. 5 eggs are in Virginia Museum of Fine Arts in Richmond, Virginia, United States. 3 eggs are in London and the Royal Collection. 3 eggs are in Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York City. One, two eggs are each in Maryland, Ohio, Monte Carlo, Baden-Baden in Germany, and Qatar. Also, four eggs are in a private collections. The house of Faberge used to produce not only the eggs for the imperial family, but the widest variety of uh, jewelry stuff for, I would say, like a mass market, or at least upper class mass market. Now we'll check it out. The house of uh, Faberge jewelry company founded by Gustav Faberge in 1842 here in St. Petersburg, Russia. But the world fame of the company was raised by his son, Karl, Karl Faberge, who also was born in St. Petersburg. So, under Faberge, now, first of all, considered Karl, Karl Faberge. His name became the trademark of uh, unprecedented quality, beauty, and luxury. Easter eggs silver plates, interior cult and fantasy items, series of military medallions, watercolors, 
cigarette cases and uh, snuff boxes, tea and coffee sets, tableware, candlesticks, samovars, Russian silver, portraits and photo frames, stationery, figures of animals, watches, bells for servants, brooch, in a mail, in a mail stuff, and icons. Now let's check out the icons. A splendid collection of religious items of particular value to the sets are decorative silver icon settings from the turn of the 20th century. Beginning with the reign of Tsar Nicholas I, that's 1825 to 1855, the upper layers of the 19th century Russian society began to view icons not only as items of religious piety, but also as a focus of truly Russian spiritual culture. At the same time, icon painters from the famous villages of Palekh and uh, Mstera developed their own style, highly valued even by the Russian imperial family. Those are Joseph Cherikov, Mikhail Dikarev, and Vasily Guryanov, all natives of Mstera village, were honored with the title of supplier to the imperial courts. In Byzantium, the veneration of secret images had been from the time a memorial expressed through the use of valuable materials. Ivory, silver, and even gold. Much more often, however, icons were painted on the boards and the fields, backgrounds, and occasionally the clothing of the depicted saint were covered in silver leaf. Icons can be uh, distinguished from ordinary paintings in that they are simultaneously secret objects and works of art, and as witnesses of history, they preserved the memory of their owners. Here we can see an enamel production of the leading Russian firms of the end of 19th, beginning of 20th centuries. Like this photo album with the photographs of Moscow sightseeings gifted to French President Emil Louvet in 1902. This cigarette case with stained glass enamel. And look at this punch set produced by Antip Kuzmichov firm for the American company Tiffany. Tiffany Company. The pictures of uh, Karl Fiberge contemporaries are also presented here in the museum. The pictures of Konstantin Gorbatov, Konstantin Korovin, Sergei Vinogradov, Alexei Harlamov, Konstantin Makovsky. And of course, great Ivan or Ivan Ivazovsky. Ivazovsky. Getting back to the main exhibits, to the collection of the eggs, and uh, I just forgot to tell you why this collection considered as the most significant in the world. Not only because here is the largest amount of uh, eggs in one place, 14 eggs, but because here is located the egg called hen. This is the very first Fiberge egg that was uh, uh, created by Fiberge by an order of uh, uh, Tsar Alexander III and given to his wife for the Easter of 1885. Now uh, it's kindly, unfortunately for us, but kindly given to the collection and temporary exhibits of the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. It will get back in May of this year, 2022. It's really curious that in this first egg, Karl Faberge, yet in 1885, used the concept of matryoshka dolls. Five years prior, the first matryoshka officially was produced. It's the concept of the things inside of the things, like here is the egg inside of the egg, yolk inside of the yolk, the hen, and inside of the hen there also was the crown, which is, by the way, lost, unfortunately lost, and uh, 
still never found. I hope you enjoyed this video pretty much, and if so, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. My name is Sergey Baklukov. This was Baklukov Live from the Faberge Museum in St. Petersburg.